Welcome to Manly Outdoors. Now, my name is Jesse, and today I am heading out grouse hunting with my father, and we had one of the better days that I've had this season. Gosh, I'm not ready. <laughs> yeah, he's standing right on the branch. I saw that one. Good. <laughs> Man, that was a stretch for the 20, but he got him, I think. Nice bird. All right, so we made it out to the road. Uh, this morning we actually got one bird just on our way out here. So high hopes for the day. I think we're gonna be able to see quite a few birds. Hop in, see how it goes. For those of you who might not know him, this is my dad. So he just retired and uh, his main goal for the year is shooting a deer. He's actually chasing a huge one up on our land, uh, but I will pop up a picture of that deer he's after. Maybe later in the week I'll chase it. I don't know, it's a nice buck. Yeah, trouble with big deer until the full rut. He's not going anywhere except at night. Get him up at midnight on cameras, but this week or next week, he'll go 24 seven for his does and he's gonna come to my stand. But you know, deer's not out of the question today too. Where you're gonna find grouse, you're gonna find some deer too. So when you're chasing a bird that you don't really know where it is, don't be afraid to bust up some brush, you know, make a little bit of noise because these birds have just incredible camouflage and it can be really difficult to see them unless they move a little bit, in which case you're going to see them or you're going to hear them. What I do is I walk pretty heavy footed, you know, you're not chasing the deer, make a little bit of noise and then we sit and listen. And if you're lucky, like I am, they give themselves away. That's a nice bird. Hey, I don't know if you noticed on that, but I switched shotguns. So I am shooting my father's uh, 12 gauge right now. He's got a, a double barrel, that's pretty cool. And the reason being, see if I still have one, is because uh, I ran out of my other shells. So I switched over to another box of some really old shells and we shot at two birds, both easy shots, well within the range of my 20 gauge. I don't know, I'm a little worried about those. That's, I should have hit that. Yeah, that sucked. I think the shells are just old. The first one, I was willing to chalk it up to maybe I, I missed shouldered, but the second one, I mean, I took my time, I shot and it flew off like it didn't even get touched. That was a little bit frustrating, but um, switched over now. I'm gonna have to find another box of shells because I think this is all I have left. At least now we're gonna be hitting them. Twelve gauge, that second barrel you want to be dead. Oh, it feels good to have something that hits them though. Man, those other shells are frustrating. I mean, that hit them like it was a slug. Yeah, got a couple BBs on the wing, but I think he's good. Uh, 
I gotta say the 12, it's kind of fun to use actually, cause uh, the first one, this has a modified barrel and then a full choke. And on the first one, I shot the modified and that feels normal. But the second one was right up close. And when I pulled the full trigger, I mean, that, that just shoots pretty much a wad of BBs. That knocked the bird right out. I mean, flopped right over. I'm not used to that with the 20. So in Maine, you're allowed four grouse per person. And in my personal opinion, I think that's more than enough. But what that means is we're gonna take that 12 gauge, give it to my father and let him do some shooting. Of course, that means that the film quality of this video is only gonna go up because that means I get to pick up the camera. So if you guys have enjoyed the video so far, make sure you hit that like button and let's see how the remainder of this hunt goes. I feel kind of bad. I saw that bird from a long ways away, but I started filming you to get your reaction instead of telling you. <laughs> I, saw you filming. I didn't think it was going to be so skittish. We've been seeing a ton of birds and what is it? It's like 12 o'clock, right? Boy, you got one shot left. Scraping by on shells. Neither of us can really find a whole lot of shells. It's been a rough year. I mean, that's why I was shooting those old shells. It's all I have left right now in the 20. I think I have some more at home I didn't grab, but it's kind of too bad that those are no good. Oh, there's one. He didn't go far, did he? Well, there we go. Just got another bird here. I was just getting on this road and thinking how good it looks. And sure enough, there's a bird that we pretty much ran over almost. But I mean, we're gonna limit out here in no time at all. At this rate. Right. I can't believe we got that. Oh, oh, that's one. He just went over that little knoll. Can you see that? That knoll right at, at your gun's pointing at? That's where he is. If you just sidestep to the left, you might see him. He's right there. There's the eight. You just saw his little head, right? That's all you saw? Thing, yeah. Right it was perfect. You couldn't shoot the body if you wanted to. Well, yeah, that's the eight birds. If you guys want to help support my work, you can go check out my website. I'm going to link that right here for you guys. Uh, I've got different hats, I've got some orange hats. And if you're a fly fisherman, I also tie flies with a grouse that I get. So thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next hunt. So have a good night.